man is first or a punch towards the face. So for Aikira, you don't see at the point of the fist, now you see at a line so that you see the arm line. When you concentrate on a point, you go too slow, too late. Uh, so see the line, as soon as the line starts moving, you move. And once you walk it, <laughs> any techniques. So either inside or outside. So the initial timing to move, to defend, is most important. When the face punch comes, the bad example is just the hitting, then you just break the contact. So you have to be in a cycle of motion to keep the contact to the technique. So in a cycle of motion to walk, so don't fight. So it's, it's just a stick to now. Then the technique starts. So never lose the contact. The same inside. Whichever the arm you have the contact with, you can do the technique on. Outside. So once really the initial, initial movement at the right timing, that's the main thing. Techniques can be done. Whatever. And that's like, you know, so the initial movement. one single punch and now we're going to show the stretch part of it comes with the blow after blow always just attack after attack so it is quite difficult to handle it. Yeah, uh, and again the same thing don't just block it off then you lose the contact so make sure that always it it's quick, but always moving in a cycle of motion. It's never straight, it's always in the making of a cycle of motion. Which is the essence, and it puts the real weight on your opponent. What? And we here in Kanku, they call it sticky hand, to keep it contact. And once you have the contact, then drop the weight on the contact, the technique already works. And always making off balance, that, that, the opponent off balance, that's point. Just the blocking, then the opponent is keeping his balance and never off balance, then you come to the technique. So have to do it in a cycle and motion, then can make the partner off balance. Oh, 
to step in the diagonal forward by um, opening your body and then let the energy upwards, force of the attackers go backwards to let it flow. Not just blocking and stopping. But keep the flow going backwards. Then the initial movement going forward is always important. <laughs> By 
I still just see the turning and the spinning and then redirecting again with the goals, the attacker goals. And then when you are sort of the clothes is clogged, when you you know, especially being ah, then you know, they almost when you are close to ground, basically don't stay on the spot that's dangerous next punch and kick comes. So you have to start moving straight after you ground. Move to side is the usually the easiest way. And by moving, turning, then already there's a lock. So don't pull that contact out, just use it. If someone grabs your clothes, clothes, they use. And that's basic Aikido techniques. And then, so basically it's stepping aside, but as getting advanced, you can just spin on the spot, fixing your center axis. But that's the point, without fixing the center axis, then the technique won't work. So fix the center axis. Now just use the contact point and drop the weight on it, keeping the center axis. So never pull the contact out. Unified. And attacker is stronger, which 
they are getting the, so the strength back to themselves. So if they are stronger, they can work even harder. So four, same thing. Don't think it's four separate, four separate strengths, but just unite them into one. Thank you. 